I think it's a very good choice. Uh, it, it's as if uh, John Kerry uh, stepped out of one of those portraits on the seventh floor of the State Department. He's, he's been in training uh, for this job for, for decades. He's got a, a vast experience in international affairs, um, both as a longtime member of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee and now as chairman of that committee. And he's got a breadth and depth of relationships with world leaders um, that is unmatched uh, for somebody entering that office, except maybe for Hillary Clinton, who of course was first lady and had relationships uh, that, that went back to those days. Uh, but, but John Kerry is, is kind of made for this job. And uh, I think uh, he doesn't need any on the job training. He will enter office at, at a time of uh, turmoil uh, across the world, particularly in the Middle East, um, but there's rising tensions in, in Asia. There's a, a huge raft of, of issues that will force their way onto his agenda. Um, Iran is approaching the nuclear weapons threshold, uh, and 2013 will be a year of decision in that regard. Either uh, he and President Obama will succeed in convincing Iran to accept meaningful curbs on their nuclear program, or uh, he will have to advise President Obama on what to do about it, uh, whether to live with an Iranian bomb or, or to bomb Iran. Those are very big decisions, and that's going to be facing uh, him and the President in 2013. On top of that, there's the whole challenge of the Arab awakening. Um, there's a desire, which I believe Senator Kerry has, to try to do something about the Palestinian issue before the window closes on the two-state solution. Um, and there's a rising China and a rising India and, and all manner of challenges in, in Asia that the president clearly wants to focus on. So it's a huge uh, and, and uh, very important, uh, vitally important agenda. The president uh, is the ultimate uh, decision maker on foreign policy and it's the president's vision that Senator Kerry will have responsibility as Secretary of State to help implement. Uh, obviously he'll also have a role in helping to shape that vision, but ultimately the buck stops with the president. Uh, as to what issues the president might want him to take on, it's, it's hard to predict. I can imagine that he will want him to play a, a, an important role working with President Karzai of Afghanistan and whoever is elected uh, there after him uh, on the withdrawal from Afghanistan so that Afghanistan doesn't implode and, and take the rest of South Asia with it. Um, that's going to be very important and it's going to require a deft diplomatic hand and I think Kerry will be very important given the relationships he has with Karzai. These are relationships of trust. Karzai and, and, and neighboring uh, states, uh, I think that, that that will be an important responsibility. Uh, I think that Kerry himself uh, would like to play a role in trying to resolve the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Looking at where things are today, that looks like a very uh, steep uphill climb. Uh, but I can imagine that the president, who had his fingers burnt in the first term trying to deal with that issue, would be happy to, to let the new Secretary of State try it. Secretary Clinton was, of course, uh, President Obama's rival in the primary campaign. And he brought her in to the State Department um, essentially to, to draw on her strengths. And her strengths were as a politician who um, could do and indeed 
has done an incredible job of rehabilitating America's image abroad, rebuilding the relationships, uh, and not just with leaders, but with people. She is a rock star in her own right. And, and the way in which she was willing to turn up everywhere, uh, from Togo, you know, to Myanmar, to uh, NATO headquarters in Europe, uh, was, a, was a, a tremendous uh, a benefit to the president, um, who's, who's not the kind of person that, that has the time or the inclination to, to embrace world leaders and people in the way that, that she was able to do. So they're, they're a very good complement in that way. I think that Kerry, uh, with his personal relationships with so many of the world's leaders and his uh, proven ability uh, over the last four years to represent the president in very delicate negotiations that were essentially off the radar screen uh, will be operating in a very different way. Uh, he, he, I think, want to uh, be much more in, engaged in, in the, um, the nitty-gritty of, of negotiations uh, where that becomes possible. So I think we're going to see a different style uh, and I think the way to understand it is that Hillary Clinton has done a fantastic job of rebuilding America's images and standing in the world. And Secretary of State Kerry, if he's confirmed, will, will have the opportunity to work off that platform in trying to help shape the emerging global order for the president.